Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the one-to-one -one session with Professor Murray Gelman, a famous physicist, a Nobel laureate. I uh, did very important research in particle physics a long time ago, and then he had the idea to found a new kind of institute, the Santa Fe Institute. Can you please explain how that idea came up and what you are doing there? I just gave a talk on that this morning at ah. another session, and I'll try to summarize it briefly for you. Uh, the idea was to set up an institute in the Santa Fe, New Mexico area where many of us were consultants to the Los Alamos laboratory. And this new place would be not a government laboratory and nothing to do with weapons. It would be a scientific institute devoted to theoretical study. We would leave the experiments, observations to others. Uh, theoretical study of problems that are transdisciplinary, that require cooperation among people trained in many different fields. This is not to replace disciplinary work, which we believe in very strongly, but to uh, supplement it. And uh, the way we operate is that uh, groups form spontaneously, little tiny research groups form spontaneously to discuss theoretically some important issue that requires inputs from many different fields. And uh, this transdisciplinary team uh, then uh, tackles some of the, the, the issue. And uh, they don't all have to be trained in, uh, in the science behind it. They have bring to the table their own experience in whatever it was they were trained in or whatever it is they've been working in. Their own experience, their own uh, insights, and so on. Uh, at least one person should really know something about the subject. But uh, the others don't necessarily have to and at the beginning. And eventually, we hope they will know a great deal about the subject. Uh, but the idea there is that uh, a great deal of important work that needs to be done is of this character, this transdisciplinary character. Transdisciplinarity does mean that you also deal with economic topics. Absolutely. We have people working on economic questions. Can you give an example of that research? Well, this morning we had here uh, a session on that that was headed by uh, an economist who worked at the Santa Fe Institute for a number of years and uh, now uh, is an ex what we call an external professor. We have a large number of distinguished people who visit regularly and uh, they're called external professors. Uh, they have a different ad permanent address, but they come by and uh, supply their ideas and perhaps get some ideas. Uh, the session this morning was headed by uh, Brian Arthur, who has exactly that kind of position. And he, although originally trained as an engineer, became an economist, and is an economist, and uh, one who is always very restless in <laughs> contemplating the, uh, the ideas of perf perfect markets and perfect information and yeah. so on and so on. So when you follow this kind of research yeah. now, uh, what is, you, is, it, it's, is on the top of your mind uh, just now? Well, let me uh, explain uh, that uh, we mentioned one idea, which is that, the, uh, uh, that research can and should, in many cases, be transdisciplinary. Uh, but another thing which is related, another idea which is related, is that the subject matter needs to be uh, treated in a somewhat similar way to the discipline. It's not just a matter of disciplines. It's a matter also of subject matter. Once a brilliant young uh, economist from the World Bank uh, talked to me about his project of putting together a whole shelf of books on the world problematique, uh, 